Hi everyone, it's Wendy here from Wendy and Rhea's Art. Um, today I'm just having a play again. I'm in between commissions and just waiting to get a few um, sorted. So today, again, I'm just having a little play. Uh, this time I'm using some bamboo paper, some lovely Hanamuli Fine Art bamboo paper. Um, it's 30 by 40 centimetres and 265 grams per meter squared. So it's a nice, um, looks like it's quite sturdy. It says it can be used for watercolor, acrylic, pastel, sketch, and mixed media, acid-free, natural white. So that's what I'm just gonna have a little play with today. Um, I've got some golden colors picked out, just some natural um, nature type colors. I have Van Dyke brown hue, sepia, Prussian blue hue, Payne's grey, green gold, Jenkins green, quinacridone nickel azo gold, violet oxide and titan buff. So I'll add them to my palette and water them down a little bit and then just throw them on just to have a look at how they go on the paper. I've just gone and found a range of watercolour brushes. I don't normally work in watercolour. I am more an acrylic, mixed media, pastel, charcoal, etc, etc. So watercolour is not my thing. But I have these beautiful brushes, as you can see, never been used. <laughs> so I'll just go through. I'm just going to try them out today just to see what they do. So this one here is a C4E Biff Large from Oriental Art Supply. Looks gorgeous. Let's see what it does. So that's one. This one here is an Escoda Synthetic number 18, size 18. This one here is a Danau size 6 paintbrush. Excuse me if I pronounce them, mispronounce them. Uh, another Danau, Danau number 4, size 4 paintbrush. This one here is an Artist First Choice Taclon, size 14. Art Master Special Effects Large Detail. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Let's see what special effects it does. Galleria Round Windsor & Newton, size 10. A Danau again, size one. De Goya, size eight, getting down to the small ones now. Lang Nickel, size six. I don't know if that's a watercolor brush, it's not formed. It, we'll see. It will hold watercolor. And this one here is called a graphics. The Incredible Nib. So let's see how incredible it is in a minute. <laughs> okay, so I'll just pause now while I get my paints down and just add a bit of water to them and um, then we'll just see what the paint brushes do. of it's dry enough I don't care if a bit of it mixes with the tight enough that's okay so I'm just going to cut 
cover that using my catalyst wedge. Okay, so I've got a nice layer of tight and buff over that. So that's covered that up, but still allowing it to, to show through. And now I'm just going to work on some gum leaves, um, just with some different colors in them this time. So I'm using this Dana, oh, stop getting that all wet. Dana U size four paintbrush. And I'm going to pick up some, get some more water over here. Oh, I'm going to pick up some of the, uh, what is it, Payne's, Payne's Grey and the Violet Oxide. 